Hey, y'all. Um, Hazel and I are here at a park in San Marcos. It's really, really nice. They have, uh, I think they play soccer here. They have a skateboard park. Um, they have a dog park, which I do not, I'm not taking Hazel to. And the reason, two reasons, is one, she's not friendly. It's not fun for her to go to the dog park. Um, and the second reason is the only time Hazel has ever had fleas was when I took her to a dog park. It's one thing to have fleas if you live in a house and you can vacuum, 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 vacuum and treat your home for fleas and you can give your dog frequent baths with flea medicated shampoo. But when you live in a car or you live in a van, um, you would think that would be an easier process, but it's not. Um, it would be harder. One, because I don't have a place to give her a bath, and that's one of the ways that you really eradicate fleas, is you put them in some nice water, in a tub full of water, and you float those fleas right off of your dog, and they go down the drain. Um, there's no place to do that in here. Well, there is kind of, but not really. I gave my shower away. Um... Y'all, I'm so sorry. I've got a little cold, I guess, and my left side of my head is totally stopped up. But the reason that I'm making this video, actually, is Hazel and I were parked up at the top part of the park, and so I decided to drive around to the back of the park or the bottom of the park and see what that was like. Now, my younger son used to go to high school right over here next door, and so he hung out here at this park a lot. So, um, oh, I, I forgot the point I was trying to make. But what happened was, so we came down to the bottom part of the park, or the back side, and I parked, and I was getting kind of sleepy, but I didn't want to take a nap, so I decided I'd get in the back and watch a movie, which is a wonderful thing about having your home with you on wheels, is you just do what you want when you want, and you've got everything you need right there. So I got back there, and um, next thing I know, <laughs> there's this really handsome policeman and he's got his hands like this, and he's looking through my window. And I think it kind of um, set him back when he saw me sprawled back there with my tablet in my hand. So I went to the door, and there were two policemen there, two sheriffs. And um, he said, ma'am, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay? And he laughed, and he goes, yeah, we're good. And I said, well, I live in my van, and so I hang out at the park a lot during the day. And um, he goes, you do? And I said, yeah. And I said, you can stick your head in and look if you want. So he poked his head in my side doors, and he goes, wow, you got a nice setup in here. I said, yeah, I do. I'm very, very lucky. And he said, well, ma'am, we don't need anything. We just wanted to make sure that you were okay. We noticed you were parked at the other part of the park and you came down this way we just wanted to make sure you were doing all right I said yeah I'm doing good he goes okay ma'am we'll have a really good day and they left so um you know I never can think when something like that happens I'm so uh in the I don't want to say in the moment but I mean I'm so uh, intent on what's going on right then and there that I can't think and then after the fact I think why didn't I talk to this policeman why didn't I ask him if there's a lot of homeless people why didn't I ask him are there any safe places for us to go to park uh, where we won't be in the way and we won't get bothered by you all in the middle of the night with the big flashlight banging on our windshield. So, 
I am so sorry, y'all. That is the second time I've missed an opportunity to um, to talk to somebody, a security guy one time and then the police this time, and get some information. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go to the actual police station. Now, my girlfriend says, don't tell anybody you live in your van. That's dangerous. Don't tell anybody. You don't want the police to know. You don't want people to know. Well, that's her, but that's not me. I'm just... I'm all out there, whatever there is, it's all out there, and I don't care, and it doesn't bother me, it doesn't scare me, maybe it should, I mean, you know, I, I don't see it as being any more dangerous than living in my house that I did for years, and years, and years, and years, and lots of times, in between husbands, when I was single, I lived by myself, me and my kids. So anyway, um, I just wanted to let y'all know that I did have a... Um, little meet up with the sheriff's department in San Marcos is where I am. And uh, San Marcos is a nice little town. I lived here before. And um, in fact, I rented a two bedroom apartment. It was years ago. And I believe at the time it was like thirteen fifty a month, something like that. And it wasn't a really nice apartment. It was an older apartment. But that's how high rents are, you guys. It's unbelievable. And that's what I told the sheriff. I said, I can't afford to pay rent. There's no way. He goes, yeah, they're high. And they are. That's one of the reasons why so many people are homeless is because this is how it works, okay, y'all? There's what's called market value. Now, what that means is that's what the market will bear. And owners of apartment communities push it and push it and push it so they can be wealthy. So they can be wealthy. They're not doing it to provide housing for people. Hell no. They're doing it so they can be wealthy. So they can drive big fancy cars, live in big old fancy houses. Um, they do it to line their own pockets. So what they will do is they will push the rent until people stop paying it. But the problem with that is there's always just enough people that can and will pay that higher rent. So they keep pushing it. And that means people like myself that make a thousand dollars a month, um, there is no place that you can rent for even 50% of my income. 500 bucks a month. You can't rent a room in someone's home for that. If you do, it's not a very nice place. And I've done that before, too. Don't ever want to do that again. I much prefer living in my van. Much prefer it. Um, but anyway, that's this is just a little video about my experience with the sheriffs. They were so totally nice. And the one that was talking to me was, oh, my God, he was so Van Dam, <laughs> handsome. Now I may be 62, but I'm not dead yet, y'all. Okay, I can still appreciate a nice looking guy, and he was. So anyway, that's all this video is about, y'all. The fun thing I've done today is uh, watch a movie, and um, I'm probably gonna watch another one. It's about five o'clock. It's going to be starting to get dark here pretty soon, so I'm going to have to decide, do I want to stay in San Marcos and try to find a place to park? Now, when I lived here before in my car, I would park over by Home Depot in their parking lot, and um, because in that same little shopping center, there was a 24-hour McDonald's, and that's so I could go potty. So maybe I'll just stay in San Marcos tonight and see if I can get by with sleeping somewhere over here.
Anyway, guys, I'll let you know how that works out and do something fun today. And thanks for watching my channel. You know, my channel is really growing. I don't know what's going on here. Um, but I appreciate all of you guys. I, I It blows my mind. I mean, it just literally just blows my mind. I'm like, have people lost their minds? Why are they doing this? Why are they watching this channel? Oh, my t-shirt's hanging out. That's not good. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And high dollar hobo, you rock, dude. You rock. I can't believe you explained this YouTube crap to me so that I understood it. So now what I'm doing is I'm waiting for them to decide whether or not they're going to let me do AdSense. And then I guess if they decide that they will, they'll email me. And then I have to go through and pick the videos that I want to be monetized, whatever that means. So I'm probably going to be rich pretty soon, you guys. You know what? But I'm not going to give up my YouTube channel. Even if I get to be a rich old lady, you guys are still going to have to listen to me. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Bye.